I'm Rachel and I've been sewing or involved with sewing for as long as I can remember. Um, I have worked in the sewing industry for um, over 12 years um, and I've worked with Brother for 10 uh, as a product specialist. Um, so now I am completely obsessed with sewing and embroidery um, and I love teaching people how to sew and get more out of their machines. Uh, so now I've set up my own company which is Bunny and Thread. So I teach people how to sew, use their embroidery machines and the software as well as create some fabulous embroidery products as well. Oh, do you know why you're here today, Rachel? <laughs> no, it quite sounds heavy. <laughs> <laughs> right, Whoa. you can take the blindfold off. Take, take. Oh, wow! Oh, I love these machines. That is I love looking at them. I've never actually had a go. This is today's challenge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So for your first challenge is to wind a bobbin. If you do Wow. Can I read the manual? You can read the manual. <laughs> <laughs> is there a manual? <laughs> oh, shoot. Aha. Wow. Okay. All right, your time is up. You now have to wind the bobbin. Okay, can I have some thread, please? Yes. Thank you. Right. So, put that on there. modern machines actually because this I guess if it ain't broke don't fix it right I'll put that on there right that feels good okay um, I'm looking for a foot pedal <laughs> obviously there isn't one um, okay oh yes yeah okay like you need three hands. That's all sort of working. Mm, looks good. Needs to trim that a little bit off, but I'll do that afterwards. Enough there. Right. Can you guess what the second challenge is going to be? <laughs> Put that in there. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> thread it up. Thread it up. Okay. Yeah, thread it up. Okay. Right. That goes in there somehow. So I'm going to go by the method used by a lot of machines that you go back on yourself when you do the bobbin so I'm guessing that way probably should look in the manual again to be honest but Oops. that kind of feels 
right. And I'm going to pull it up. Um, this will be tension. It looks like it should go like, yeah, like that. Under there. Give it a go and see if this works. Uh, and I'm guessing this you righty tighty lefty loosey. I'm guessing that'll be the right way about that. Um right, okay. So the needle is in sideways. So I'm guessing it's gonna go that way so ah oh, there we go there's a little hook there thread guide there yeah that looks all right and then okay I'll cut that a bit and pop that through it's a bit different there we go right I hope that's right Right, let's pull the thread out, bobbin thread. Oops. Yep. Yeah. Right. Close that little door. So fingers crossed. That's all right. That's all good. Now for your final challenge is to make something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Uh, right, okay. Um, I just make a little pouch thing, just a little, like a little bag. Sew. Well, I can I can sew with it basically. That's more the challenge, I guess. Right. Down. <clears throat> oh, <all> right. Stitching. Not too bad. I think it could do with a new needle, but never mind. <laughs> right, so next I'll do the same again. I'll just stitch that down so I've got a nice oh. Automatically going for like buttons and things for the <laughs> like the electric machine. There we go. That's that done. Also used to a, a little thread cutter as well. Right, so let's tidy this all back. Just simple, not getting marked on uh, my style of sewing or my uh, <laughs> idea for what to make, I guess. Right, so let's put them together. And use. Okay. I actually really enjoy using this, it's really nice. Okay. 
Oh, gonna be close to the edge. <laughs> there we go. Oops. Ooh, ooh. There we go. Okay, not the most exciting project to make, but da da, we have a bag. I would say that's a success. Thank you. Oh. Maybe not there. That was probably me rather than the machine, to be fair. There we go. Yeah. It's useful. It's practical. Yeah. Put all your little <laughs> bits and bobs because you've got a few little weird little gadgets in here. Little accessories and feet and things as well. This one is uh, it's quite scary, but I actually recognise this. This is a, a ruffler foot. It goes that way because this is similar to ones you use now, now nowadays it looks like a saw contractor yeah it does a bit it does, and, and this one i've got to know i mean it's some kind of guide isn't it i guess but you have to look at the manual what to i guess this sort of slides well oh, there you go don't worry similar. it's not part of the challenge <laughs> <laughs> and this one again is is one i recognize as well because it's like a binding that you're binding through and sew it down so, a lot of things don't change. Ooh. I have no idea what that is. We'd have to work that out. It's nice that it's still got all the original parts. Yeah. And, and like the I original like little manual. tiny keys by the looks of it. Or little... Oh my god. I'm going to have to zoom in for that. You can see that? That's tiny. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed that challenge. I think I passed. Did I pass? You definitely passed. <laughs> awesome. There, there will be more challenges, maybe okay. even harder challenges coming up. So I like it. Good. Stay tuned, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first challenge set by the guys at Sewing Machines UK in Gillingham. Um, there will be more, I hear. So uh, looking forward to what they have in store for me. And if you have any ideas or things you'd like, to challenge me so and wise then put a comment below and let us know and um it was check out their website it's www.sewingmachinesuk.co.uk see you soon